Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Hask here, my Sith warrior, on the Sith home world of Drum and Cass. We've discovered our potential role as the apprentice of Darth Barris. We ought to be his enforcer. Dealing with his various contacts around the galaxy and dealing with his enemies as and when necessary. Our first task is to go to a cargo port here in Cass City and meet with, I believe, a commander there who has some very interesting cargo for us. Destination, enjoy your stay. Ah, so just kind of making the most of the remainder of the double experience event. It ends about this time tomorrow. So we may as well enjoy it while it lasts. Level 33. Right, so nothing to level 35 than level 36. Not a problem. So we just need to make sure the transit of the cargo, whatever it may be, goes off without a hitch. Alright man, let's hurry up and get this hunk of carbonite to its owner. Captain Olivius. Boo. Oh, I, I didn't see you enter. Lord Barris didn't need to send a welcoming party. Obviously, Lord Barris feels otherwise. My men and I have performed much more dangerous duties for Lord Barris. The prisoner is frozen in carbonite, so he's not a flight risk. And this is friendly territory. Surely we're safe here. There is no such thing as friendly territory. No offense, my lord. That brand of paranoia may work for Lord Barris, but I don't subscribe to it. When you're on assignment for us, you do. Yes, my lord. Whatever you say. Let's get this oversized block of ice to your master. Not so fast. Huh? My master ordered that block of ice. So step away from the Carbonite Man, and no one ends up in a grave. Your name, now. My name is of little importance. I'm here to relieve you of your burden. Whether that includes your own lives as well is up to you. Looky, looky. If it ain't Slestak, your master be wanting the Froze Man too, huh? Too bad for you. It mine. Delightful. You two know each other. To know Tumar is to hate Tumar. That go true for you too, Slestak. If you don't flee, this be like killing two stone with one bird. I'm such a fool. I'll never doubt Lord Barris again. What do we do? Don't panic. On their own, Tumar and his lackeys wouldn't be much of a fight. You mouth always get you in trouble, Slestak. It about to chew off more than it can bite. You're going to take that, Slestak? Very amusing. I do relish the opportunity to rid the world of Tumar and his drones. So I'll be with you presently, Instigator. Come on, boys. We smash the talk from Slestak's big mouth now! Yeah! 
Well done. While they fight, my men and I will deliver the prisoner to Lord Barris. Thank you for buying us time, my lord. <laughs> How interesting. Multiple pe people were interested in this cargo. Thankfully, we were able to deal with the entire situation without even having to really draw our lightsaber. Perhaps our master will know who else may be interested in this individual frozen in carbonite. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Back to the sanctum we go. Lights. Walk in here, you get an instant headache. Franklin informed me of the ambush at the cargo port. Apparently there are more eyes on us than even I thought. I have felt a disturbance in the Force. It leaves doom imprinted on my dreams. A grave and mysterious threat that could bring down my entire power base. This frozen man is a top Republic agent captured while investigating my most deeply embedded spy on Nar Shaddaa. One of my invisibles. The Force grants me a vision of doom. And immediately, my untraceable spy, who has left no footprints, no trail, is almost exposed. It makes me furious. Maybe your spy wasn't so invisible after all. Do not presume to tell me my business. There's no profit in it. I must learn what tipped off the Republic agent. He is the key to uncovering the nature of this threat. Now, while I thaw the prisoner and painfully siphon every morsel of information I can from him, I have some concerns that require your special talents. Tell me what I must do. No rest for the wicked, I guess. Go to the Imperial Post in the jungles outside the city. Commander Pritch is stationed there. He has a seek and destroy task for you. What will I be seeking and destroying? Do not needlessly tax me. Commander Preach will supply all the details. I must tend to the torturing of this miserable Republic agent. Waste no time. I have more for you to do once this is complete. You are dismissed. Well, it seems our master's going to be keeping us busy. So we need to find this Commander Preach now. Ooh. Oh. What a few times where we have had to, had to actually select a reward. Oh well, either way. So head out into another jungle outpost. Find something worth seeking and destroying. Ah, 
I see. Okay. Destination. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your stay. We'll head over to Outpost Tempest. over to a region known as the Unfinished Colossus. We'll discover why it's unfinished as well. <laughs> ah, bloody hell. Despite this being the capital, the center of the Sith Empire, ah, there are always slaves who decide to rise up against their masters. And we, of course, find ourselves here in one of those moments in time. So one of the major slave camps has risen up in revolt. It's actually between us and the Imperial Commander were meant to meet. Lord Drowl here who would like our attention? Exactly as reported. A degree six revolt population equivalent to the Duros uprising on Zilior. Subjects occupy a moderate radius of jungle. Good. Good. Welcome, Apprentice. Your timing couldn't be better. I am Lord Drowl. When the Empire encounters resistance on its conquered worlds, they call me. I'm here to end the slave uprising on Drummond Cass. I wasn't aware there was a slave revolt going on. Very soon there won't be. You can assist me in ending it. The situation is this. A Sith Lord was constructing a colossal statue of himself in the jungle. His slaves revolted and armed themselves. The Colossus remains unfinished and well-armed slaves now control the jungle. An embarrassment for the Empire, but an opportunity for me. What can these renegade slaves possibly provide you? Test subjects, of course. A means of perfecting my techniques. I'm testing a toxic weapon. A poison called Quell. Its victims experience a prolonged state of agonizing pain before finally dying. The victim's allies are so horrified by Quell's effects, they lose their wills to resist. At least that's what I intend to prove. That is deeply disturbing. That's one of the things I love best about it. I need someone to introduce a controlled amount of Quell into the slave's water supply, so that I can determine the proper dosage. The work is dangerous, there will be armed slaves everywhere, but your success will be well rewarded. What do you say? I prefer to deal death more directly to my opponents. My methods extend well beyond the lightsaber's reach, my friend. Expand your horizons. My assistant Sergeant Slerin will recommend the correct dosage of Quell and give you a supply. See him at the research tent. <laughs> Sometimes during conversations, uh, you will see other players jumping into our, uh, cinematics. <laughs> it's just one of those things that occasionally can happen. It's not meant to, but this game does have its bugs, even after many years. If I know Lord Drowl's tastes, which unfortunately I do, he sent you for the Quell Toxin. I'm helping him put down the slave revolt. Do you truly understand what he's asked you to do? What if I told you this experiment is pointless? That past studies have shown increased suffering has no impact on the speed of surrender. This has nothing to do with accelerating the end of a rebellion. Lord Drow simply takes perverse thrill in gratuitous suffering. I'm sure Lord Drow wouldn't appreciate these comments. Don't get me wrong, Lord Drow is very good at what he does. But he lets his personal bents impede our efficiency. I want this assignment over with. 
The faster this rebellion ends, the faster I'll be reassigned to more important work. Serving Lord Drow's bloodlust has stunted my career. If not for his inefficiency, I'd be a captain by now. You'd still just be a meaningless Imperial drone. Perhaps. But a better paid Imperial drone. With more authority. Lord Drow's dosage of Quell Toxin will have slaves writhing in agony for pointless weeks, during which this area will remain volatile. I've prepared a dose that will kill the slaves efficiently, which is better for the Empire and for me. Will you deliver my dosage instead? Now I know the sergeant here, of course, is playing us once again, similar to the apprentice Melora with Lord Renning. But... I'm not one to leave people suffering for no reason. So, I suppose, yeah, we'll go with the sergeant's option here. Let's end this revolt efficiently and kill off these renegades. Wonderful. It's the right thing for everyone. Well, almost everyone. I'll give you a maximum dose of quell toxin. Inject it into the slave camp's water filtration systems and see Lord Drowl afterward. I mean, the slaves are still going to die, unfortunately, but if it wasn't us killing them, then it would be someone else. We have to contaminate four water filters and destroy six reserve water tanks. There's also a bonus to deal with so many rebelling slaves. There are 30 of them. Hmm. Uh, slave workers are considered weak enemies. slaves to deal with. Oh, did I miss? I forgot to contaminate one of the water filters. Whoops. Ooh, level 34. Any new abilities? No. Usually what I would say is the final water filter is over here, but we forgot one right at the beginning. Thankfully, once you've uh, poisoned all the water filters, you need to go back to Lord Drow anyhow, so... 
We're heading back that way nonetheless. I don't understand why it didn't work. I was meticulous with my measurements. Those slaves must be more fragile than I thought. The quell you put in their water supply is killing them outright. The shock of instant death will throw the slaves off balance. Shock? I'm not interested in such brute force. All my research is now useless. Oh well. You did as I asked and your payment was not contingent on the results. Here. Take your credits and go. I have a great deal of thinking to do. I'm sure you do. Oh, we get to choose a relic. None of those relics are better than the ones we currently have, so let's not worry about that. Well, let us continue now to the Unfinished Colossus. Now, Lord Drell was saying this Colossus was of a Sith Lord making a statue of of himself. There's various stories. I think one from the Sith warrior here himself is actually will hear a different tale from Commander Pritch himself. We'll see what they have to say about the situation. There it is. Before we speak to the commander himself, let's see what the, let's learn a bit more from these other quest givers. My lord? Look at them out there. They're like animals. Hundreds of slaves with no one to command them and without a thought in their minds as to what to do with their freedom. Like I said, the slaves are animals. But we've noticed strange behavior in the pack. And my superiors want to know more. Some of the slaves are killing each other. We don't know if they're mad or hungry, desperate, or if there's a faction of slaves who've turned on the rest. You've been observing them? Give me your best guess. I don't really know. Who can fathom the mind of a slave? We know that the killings are ritualistic. The murderous slaves come in the night, stab their foes and paint themselves in blood. If you could investigate, catch them in the act and take them down, maybe you could find a clue to their motives. Slaves will give up their knowledge to me. Look for any slave who's turned on his peers. With luck, he'll lead us to answers. Okay. Shall do. In addition, we have a heroic mission here. Hey, uh, my lord, right? Not sure about my propers with you folks. Seeing as how you're already killing slaves and causing a fuss, how'd you like to make a pile of credits? I have a few moments I can spare. So Darth Valron is on the Dark Council, and his apprentice, Lord Ket, wants to advance, so he starts building a giant statue to his master. But Lord Ket doesn't want his master to know, so he brings in slaves from off-world. Slaves rebel, and we get this mess. Buy cheap slaves and get a rebellion. Everyone knows that. Here's where it gets complicated. Lord Ket wants to save face, but secretly. He calls in me and my mercs. By the time we get here, the slaves have captured some giant industrial drills and they're getting ready to bring down the whole giant statue. Our best team goes in with explosives to blow up the drills. Slaves kill every last one. Got a pile of credits for anyone who grabs those explosives, hooks them to a giant drill, then fights off slaves until the explosives detonate. Seems straightforward and interesting. It was actually the quest giver here for the heroic mission who says the statue is actually meant to be of a member of the Dark Council, Darth Valron himself. In that it's his, I suppose, apprentice 
Lord Quet, who is the uh, Sith Lord who shipped in the slaves to create said statue. Hello, Commander. Commander Pritch at your service, my lord. Lord Barris informed me you'd be paying us a visit. I'm prepared to offer full assistance. News travels fast. Lord Barris is nothing if not efficient. Let me follow his lead and bring you up to speed. There's been much unrest in these parts recently, my lord. Capped off by a violent slave revolt that has the surrounding jungles overrun with armed slaves. You can't deal with upstart slaves. The slaves have been giving the forces sent to deal with them fits. I'm not part of that duty, my lord. What no one knows is that Lord Barris orchestrated the insurgents to disrupt one of his rivals, and he wants his involvement kept secret. Now the slave captains who led the revolt are threatening to expose Barris' involvement unless they receive more potent weapons. Slaves. They're never satisfied. I'd just be happy if you took the stupid shock collar off. I'll take it under advisement. I see you know how to handle slaves, my lord. You think they know better than to blackmail a Sith Lord. Lord Barris wants you to kill enough of the blackmailing slave captains to make the others lose their resolve. Just tell me where to go. Slaves are scattered throughout the area, but the captains tend to congregate near the unfinished Colossus. I'll wait here for your return. Hmm. Seems to Takes guts to sit here and wait, don't you think? Take it up with the commander. I'm sure he'd appreciate the constructive criticism. Nah, I think I'll let him live in shame. <laughs> so yeah. Dolph Barris is one of the ones, or at least the one who instigated, or potentially instigated, the Slave Rebellion to get one over, probably over Darth Valron. He and uh, Darth Barris really don't see eye to eye, but this is internal Sith politics and infighting. It seems there was another option to deal with the Slave Captains, which we, uh maybe didn't explore. That's fine. So we have a bonus to defeat 20 rebelling slaves. Oh, we have another bonus to defeat 15 rebelling slaves. Before we look for the slave cultists and the slave captains, I'm going to go complete the heroic mission. Which is down along this way. This heroic mission used to be a lot more difficult. There used to be heroic 2 plus and heroic 4 missions, where it was highly advisable that. In the Heroic 4 missions, you completed the quest with at least another player and their companion as well. If not a full group. This was one of those where there was a lot more elite enemies than strong enemies that make up these uh, aggro groups here. But nowadays they've changed all of the Heroics to make them easier. So that you and your companion can complete them for those bonus rewards from level 60 onwards. <laughs> this group's interesting. Make sure I remember which abilities are which. So we need to head along this way first to grab the explosives lost by uh, the mercenary team. We could have dropped down this way from the bridge. 
the bridge is kind of like just here. But sometimes your companion doesn't fall down the kind of the ravine with you. Ah, there it is. And therefore your especially when it was a heroic four mission, you would drop down, and if your companion wasn't joining you and you initiated combat, you could get your ass handed to you quite easily. That's one of the giant drills, let's hook up the explosives. boss. Gotta watch out for the taskmaster here. Because he has a very annoying knockback ability. That drill just lit up the night. Here's the credits, as promised. Ooh. Oh shit, something else up. <laughs> Take the uh, bulwark lock box, level 35. Now, did I complete the uh, other bonus mission? I'm guessing I did. The uh, 15 slaves. Level 35, any new skills? Just for speed of piloting, which gives us a little bit more speed. What's in this lockbox? Battle Scored, Shield and Implant. You. That was one of the slave captains as well. Interesting. Oh! Even though I'm not streaming, I've had a <laughs> had a follow on uh, on Twitch because uh, I'm using uh, my Streamlabs OBS to record. <laughs> so even though he doesn't know it, thank you, washable staff, for the uh, follow on Twitch. <laughs> Here's one of those slave cultists. We're dealing with him because he has a data pad on him. Contains a message. Initiate. When the killing is complete, return to the base of the Colossus and signal us with the device. We will be waiting. as well. That's all the bonus complete. And along this way. You. You are not the initiate. You. You are Sith. You honor us with your presence, mighty lord. Welcome to our prison. What is this? Are you the one behind the killings? I am Traka Unvor, leader of the Unchained. I am master of my hatred. When the other slaves broke free, I laughed. Like you, I knew their escape was a delusion, for only Sith possess true freedom. You know nothing about the Sith. I know the Sith Code. Freedom comes through power. 
prove victory. I saw a chance to prove myself. I culled weak from strong. I began to kill and to teach. I showed slaves freedom through bloodshed. Now my followers and I are the masters here. And soon, we will become Sith ourselves. You may have potential, but are you strong in the Force? My strength is in my fists, but the Force has guided me here. And it has guided you. Now you can spread word of us to the Empire. Your strength is great. With your approval, we shall serve. Carry our message of allegiance to your masters, and we will become the new face of the Empire. We will be champions of the dark side. You're nothing but a murderer. What you're doing is disgusting. My lord, how can you say this? All we've done, the blood we've spilled, it has all been for you. Tell us then, how else may we achieve true strength and respect of the Sith? I'm not the one to teach you, but learn the Sith ways before fighting. But we... we believed. I believed. I will. I will spread your message to the others. We will do as you say. <laughs> if you don't have force sensitivity, the Sith are just gonna laugh at you as they butcher you and your men. Like what we've been doing. Slave captain over there. Yeah. Hopefully, that's enough of them put down that the others will think twice about getting overly uh, greedy about the deal, whatever deal I made with Darth Barris. I'm guessing the Barris slipped them some of the equipment to instigate the rebellion. It's good to see you back. I knew those slaves couldn't hold their own against you. I take it you managed to track down one of the murderers. What's their story? Can we use them? No, but they've been dealt with. They won't cause any problems. <laughs> That's a pity. It's foolish, I guess, to expect anything useful to come from the minds of slaves. I talked to my superiors while you were gone, and they agreed to compensate you for your work. So, uh, here. More credits than I make in a week. I'd ask you to stick around in case the slaves cause more trouble. But I suppose you have other responsibilities. I have havoc to wreak. Yes. Yes, of course. It's been an honor working with you. I hope we meet again. No, you probably really don't. That may end poorly for you. Ah, my lord, you've returned. I take it many slave captains have died this day. They won't be bothering Lord Barris anymore. I shudder to imagine their fate. I must stay, my lord. It's been inspiring watching you work. I'm sure it has. I'll inform Lord Barris that the situation has been handled. <laughs> okay, and back to Cass City we go. Uh, is there anything to do on the way back? Uh, don't think so. Force is a weapon. I will show you how to wield it. I don't 
care what you do. Break my bones, burn my flesh. I'll tell you nothing. I will not be denied. Go spit, you monster! I didn't know bodies could bend like that. I think I'm gonna be sick. Spare yourself. You shouldn't have to see this. Ah, Apprentice, you've returned. Commander Pritch confirmed that the slaves have been silenced. Good. I'm still trying to extract the information I crave from this Republic agent. He is much more resilient than anticipated. You crack, Master. I'm sure of it. I will not rest until he does. I have another important task for you. It involves a renegade Sith Lord named Grathen, a particularly bothersome thorn in my side. Meet with my apprentice, Dracul Ball. He's my covert operative in Grathen's compound. Ball claims to have made a key discovery. I thought I might be your only apprentice. That makes Baal my rival. Try to tolerate him long enough to get the details and conclude your business there. Grathen's presence is useful to me, so I don't want him killed, just crippled. Find out what Ball has discovered, and do exactly as he instructs. Is your other apprentice above me in the pecking order? I'm sure he views himself as your better. But he has merely been here longer. Now then, Republic wretch, where were we? Oh, yes. Tell me what I wish to know. Yeah, Barris can be a scary individual when he gets down to it. starting to get the requisitioned bulwarks armor set. I see. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. For those of you who are aware... Uh, <laughs> oh god, I'm already laughing. We're gonna have some fun when we come back and see Darth Barris next time in the, st in the story arc. For those of you who aren't aware of why that may be, well, you'll be in for a treat. You definitely will be. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, it makes me smile even thinking about it now. <laughs> oh, Please use God. all products only as intended. Be well. Indeed, you be well as well. So, uh, Drekel Baal, another of Darth Barriss' apprentices. We ought to be his enforcer. I'm guessing Baal is some form of spy that... Like a force-sensitive spy, a spy of the Sith. I can understand why that would be useful. But some thorn in Darth Barriss' side, a renegade Sith. As we discussed... From that time with the Inquisitor on Korriban uh, during our release of the Jedi prisoner. And we asked what would happen if we were accused of uh, aiding the Jedi. And she mentioned that grow powerful enough and any accusations will just fall on deaf ears. This is what happened with Lord Graffin. He desires more power, more recognition, and it seems he's not getting it. And so he's decided, in the typical Sith way, to rebel. He has his own followers, his own strength, his own compound. And if he can hold out long enough, maybe the Dark Council will pay attention and give him what he wants. If he fails, well... <laughs> The Dark Council will, um, teach him the error of his ways, no doubt. What we'll do is we'll, uh, take a break here. When we come back, we'll head towards Lord Graffin's estate. There is quite a few things we can do en route. 
not including at least another heroic mission. So we'll probably not hit Lord, Lord Graffin's estate in the next part, but we'll get ourselves set up quite nicely outside, in addition to doing quite a few uh, additional tasks en route. Thank you all for joining me once again with some more Star Wars The Old Republic, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.